Look at it. Look at her. Look at her. Listen to her. Hang on. Let me get this in here. Okay. What up, Chub Crew? God dang, a nice day out here, isn't it? As you can see. We're gonna go on a little road trip. I gotta go up to Annandale to see the parents. I gotta go get a couple of things to trim, trim trees. Uh, I got some branches that are kind of overgrown some areas. Let me show you, I'll take you out front real quick. Show you my crab apple tree for Christ's sakes. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this arborvitae here. Look how tall that thing is. There's two of them. Look at arbs, woo. Look at this monster freaking mash here. Whoa! This crab apple tree, I cut back every year because it's a pain in the ass to mow under. This branch alone, two weeks ago, was not touching the ground. It's touching the ground. It's a pain in my ass. So these branches have to come off. I'm getting knocked off my lawnmower. Yeah. So that's the plan. Run to Annandale, see the folks real quick. Get some, uh, get some tools. Chainsaws up there. Joe Cass, thank you for sharpening my uh, chainsaw blades. Yay! Look at her! Look at her! I'm so excited. Parents have just got a deck put on, upper level at the house. Uh, it's been in need of some replacement for quite a while. Kind of soft. Plus, they wanted some handrails. Uh, getting a little older, oh, they just need to get a little handrail, a little safety action, uh, and and it's just time. Do it right. Do it in cedar. Do it. We're gonna see. I don't even know. I'm sure it looks beautiful. So uh, we are going to make this run and see what kind of fun we can have with the car on the way. Bye bye. Well, that's probably an interesting view. Minnesota everybody oh gotta stop cool little town uh, it was always somewhere we'd venture to back in high school Annandale being uh, 14 15 miles away one of the bigger towns that we could go to Buffalo or St. Cloud uh, which was the two ways you could go you could go north or you could go south or east or west wasn't too much so Buffalo was the place Suburban, uh, West Suburban Auto Sales, right here. Great guy. Looks like there's a nice Camaro in there right now. He's got himself a Corvette, which is cool as hell. We're gonna try to maybe hook up and do a little car rally run sometime. Don't know if it'd be this summer or seven summers from now. Who knows? Maybe it never happened, but it'd be kind of fun, I think. the intersection of 25 and highway 55 in Buffalo. I'm sure you're all familiar with this. Two lanes down to one lane. Pole positioning. And now I got a few slow pokes so let's see how fast they roll in front of me folks. They have an opportunity to do a little crazy passing. Challenge old Ellie here. The hot rod. My baby. the next town after Buffalo on Highway 55 going towards Annandale. Another cool town, another rival town in the Wright County Conference back in high school sports and all. 
You saw Maple Lake back there. It's a little lake just uh, east side of town. Cool little beach. Liquor stores. You can see that sign up there. Up on the left, that Gearheads. They have one of the biggest uh, car gatherings, car shows here in the summers. It's really cool. Drive whatever you got. Anything with an engine. Show and swap me. August. Uh, I don't think they're going to be doing it this year because of the damn COVID, but... <laughs> yeah, cool town. Rob's Flooring. We work with these guys on a lot of our projects from Lindstrom's. They do all our hardwoods, floors. Unbelievable skills those guys have. And they're the nicest guys in the world. God damn they are. Annandale and Maple Lake differ a little bit. Annandale's got a lot more lakes around it. Maple Lake's closer to the cities. It's got a lake or two around here, but one stoplight in town. I think Annandale's only got one stoplight as well. Maple Lake. This is kind of the back road to uh, to Clearwater Lake in Annandale. It left brings you to Annandale and right takes you around Clearwater Lake. Or if you take 24, which is the road, it'll bring you to Clearwater eventually and Clear Lake and, and all that good stuff. So uh, this is God's country around here, everybody. Trying to shift and film and talk. That's the nature of a vlogger, everybody. It gets a little nut, nutty, crazy like this. But it's just, it's kind of fun. Yahoo! Annandale, great town. Love this town. God damn it. Love this town. The skies don't look so good. Camp Friendship. If you're all familiar with Camp Friendship, it's one of, I think, Minnesota's biggest uh, camps for mental retardation for children with challenges. I don't know if I'm even saying that right. Flip Saunders house, Flip Saunders old house. I'm sure it's the kids and everybody's now, but. Hello. If it's, if it's big boy, he'll run right up. He'll run right up your leg. He'll be in your lap before you know it. We got we got chipmunk friends here. I don't have any nuts in my hand right now. 
Oh, you can see him running around down there. Oh, he's out of here. That's entertainment. Chipmunk fun around here. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Get over here, you nut. Come on, Chippy. Come on, Peanut. Come on. Yeah, he's, he's looking at your feet. Yeah, he, he always comes. sniffs your feet. Man, what are you doing, buddy? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come here. Get over here. Leave oh. the cover up there. It'll come. Hey, look at him. So tentative. The nut. Top edge is off. There here here it comes, come. Nutty. Come up here. Here it comes, Nutty. Come on, get up here. Come on. Come on, up here. Yep, yep. Come on, Peanut. There, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Right there. Here. Here. Mm -hmm. Hi. Here. Not sure a who's who here. Now, if you take Nut. one, yep. Put, put your, hold it in your hand and he'll take it. Take it. He'll take him a few well, minutes. Today, no, he hasn't been doing that. You guys must have crap on your hands. Well, at least he's not spit. Oh, heard a gunshot. <laughs> yes! Chippy! Chippy, chippy. Getting some new mulch out. Nice. He cuts. He cuts every end. Yep. Make sure it's straight or clean. Deck material. Here's the deck I was talking about. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah. Wow. This is some uh, good looking cedar. Yeah. Nice. What he says he is. Wow. No. Good. Yeah, he's got his tool out here. Did you put the plastic on or did he? No, he doesn't. Okay. If it gets windy, it could be a problem yet, but. <laughs> Shoo. Yeah, a little rainy, a little weedy. I do, yeah. Icky, icky. Very nice. Good. Yeah, it looks really good. That's a big gap here on this one, but I suppose you need it for whatever reason. He knows. Yeah, he puts a pencil in there too. Yeah. To make it so water can get through. I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. I don't know enough about all that. All the screws are nice in. Yeah, beautiful. Great looking new deck. Gonna have some spindles and handrails soon. I don't know if the carpenter will make it today because of the rain. Well, as you can see, everybody, I didn't quite beat the rain. But we did accomplish what we wanted to accomplish. I got the chainsaw, I got the branch trimmer. Now I'm gonna have to pay the price, clean the car because I didn't get out quick enough. But that's all right, that's all right. That happens now and then. So, I just wanted to say also that the carpenter that uh, is building that deck for the parents up there, great guy. Again, worked with him for quite a while. As you can see, his craftsmanship is just impeccable. Beautiful looking. His name is Mike Christensen. Mike Christensen. I'll, uh, I'll post his phone number right here. Uh, great guy. I talked to him. You know, he's his, he's his own carpenter. Works on projects that uh, people have. You know, and I was asking him if he'd be interested in doing some other additional projects. 
you know, out in Annandale area here because, you know, I thought maybe it was back roads. He lives in Ramsey or Andover. And yeah, uh, he'll take on some projects, but he'd like to keep to some bigger projects. So, Annandale area people here, Annandale people, if you're interested in having a spectacular carpenter give you a bid, do some work for you. Mike Christensen, great guy, known him, golfed with him. Shit, I've known him for 20 years, 15 years, whatever it is. Um, again, give him a shout. It can't hurt. If you're in need of a nice, a great carpenter, great guy, um, again, there's his information. Give him a shout. What up? Hey, check it out, job crew. Remember that tree that was a nuisance? Look at her now. Look at her now. Look at the apples. What a pain in the butt skis that was. But I got it taken care of. Yes. So much nicer now. So